Interesting study coming out of uh, Rutgers uh, and New Jersey. They uh, did a poll first to give you a sense of it. It's actually a Rutgers Eagleton, New Jersey poll of just New Jersey residents, but it gives you a sense of what's going on in the country. 69% of residents are somewhat concerned about Ebola. Now, that doesn't make too much sense. Uh, you should be maybe a little concerned. It's not in New Jersey. I mean, could somebody from Dallas take a flight to Jersey? It could, but 69% being concerned in New Jersey. That's a high number, right? So, okay, um, well, but at least we understand that. What we can't understand is how uh, you explain the next set of data that they found from the survey. Media Matters explains, the truly strange findings was that people who said they were following the story most closely were the ones with the most inaccurate information about Ebola. The more information they consumed about the dangerous disease, the less they knew about it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay. I mean, is there a better statement about the sorry state of our media in America today than that? Uh, it's a, I watched the news and I got less educated. <laughs> All right. Now they go on to explain despite the enormous amount of recent Ebola news coverage, those who followed the story more closely were more likely to believe Ebola can be spread easily, even though the disease cannot be spread like the flu. It is not airborne, but the more they watch the story, the more they thought, oh, it's going to spread any second, it can spread super easily, but you need bodily fluids to spread it, it's not airborne. Okay. Uh, and then this amazing fact, three out of four of those polled said that they are concerned that people carrying Ebola will infect others before showing symptoms themselves. That is just medically not possible. Now, is it possible that at some point a virus mutates? It's possible. Have we seen any evidence of that? No, we have not seen any evidence of that here or anywhere else when it comes to Ebola, all right, in this outbreak. So the fact that 75% of the people who watched the news, who cared most about the story, got a critical fact completely wrong is amazing. I mean, I guess we'd be more amazed if we thought better of our media, but we already know that not the strongest part uh, of our country here. Okay, now. Where or oh, where could they have gotten that misinformation? To the, of course, we go to cable news. First with Fox News. Elizabeth Hasselbeck of Fox News literally demanded that we put uh, the country on lockdown, banning all travel in and out. In a bit of re, uh, race baiting, Andrea Tentoso of Fox suggests that people who travel to the country and show symptoms of Ebola will, quote, seek treatment from a witch doctor instead of go to the hospital. Fox host Steve Ducey suggested the CDC is lying about the Ebola because they're part of the administration. Fox also promoted a conspiracy theorist who's trying to claim the CDC is lying when they caution people not to panic. Okay, those, those are really helpful in this situation. But they're not alone. CNN is also spreading fear. Now Ashley Banfield, who's been a great journalist in other contexts, unfortunately didn't do a great job here when she speculated, quote, all ISIS would need to do is send a few of its suicide killers into an Ebola affected zones and then get them on some mass transit somewhere where they would need to be to be to affect the most damage in other words everybody go nuts here comes Ebola from ISIS and they're gonna somehow get it and then they're gonna get on mass transit and they're coming so it's an Ebola ISIS super package okay if you thought Ebola was bad or ISIS was bad, wait till you see Ebola ISIS. Now, CNN wasn't quite done yet. Um, as Media Matters explains, CNN actually invited onto the network a fiction writer who wrote an Ebola thriller in the 1980s to hype unsubstantiated fears about the transmission of the virus. I don't know why CNN does that, man. They drive me crazy. It's an actual disease that, that's got real effects right now. Why bring out a fiction writer? All it's going to do is panic people. I'm surprised that Fox News hasn't said that Ebola itself is Muslim. <laughs> so wait for that. It's around the corner. Maybe it's a Mexican Muslim coming across the border. You think they won't do it?